Hello and welcome to this presentation about GCSE History at Westfield Academy. I'm Miss Guest, the Head of the History Department. So I'll be sharing with you today the teachers of GCSE History and why to consider choosing this subject, the units of study, the structure of the course and how the course is assessed. So the teachers of GCSE History are myself, Miss Flukes and Mr Jowett. The OCRB course which we follow at Westfield is incredibly diverse and interesting. It offers students the chance to study some British history in breadth and depth, world history as well as the local history around us. There are five main units of study, one of those being the thematic study which covers the people's health from 1250 to the present day. And we even look at epidemics such as the Black Death, the Plague and the Spanish Flu. The British Debt Study, which covers the Elizabethans from 1580 to 1603, looks at Elizabeth's power. We also consider the Catholic threat and the persecution of witches. The history around us is the local aspect of the course. We do a site study to Glastonbury Abbey. We focus on the Benedictine order of monks that were at the Abbey during the medieval period. And we also consider turning points in the site's history, such as Henry VIII and the dissolution of the monasteries. The period study, which focuses on the making of America, considers America's expansion through the 1800s, the exploitation of groups of people like slaves and the American Civil War. And we also look at the World Debt Study, which is living under Nazi rule. We consider how the Nazis were able to form a dictatorship, the growing persecution of Europe's Jews and the impact of World War II on the German people. The structure of the course. So in year 10, we start with the people's health, followed by the Elizabethans. And then in the summer term, we focus on living under Nazi rule. In year 11, we focus on the history around us unit, which involves the trip to Glastonbury Abbey. We look at the making of America, and then we finish with time to revise for the summer exams. In terms of assessment, each study is worth 20% of the total GCSE, so they're all equally weighted. The British History paper incorporates the thematic study and the depth study into a one hour, 45 minute paper. The history around us is a one hour paper and world history, which incorporates the period study and the world depth study is a one hour, 45 minute paper. So there are three GCSE exams which will be sat at the end of year 11. Uh, this is a grade four response to a judgment question. So it's just something to bear in mind when considering history as an option that there are parts of each paper that will require an extended answer. So with this particular question, the student had to um, consider how far they agreed that government responses to plague were more effective in the period 1500 to 1750 than the periods 1250 to 1500. So they had to have an opinion and they had to argue both for and against, which they have attempted to do in this particular answer. And there are four assessment objectives. The first one is knowledge and understanding. The second is to explain using second order historical concepts such as change and continuity and similarity and difference. The ability to analyze, evaluate and use sources and to analyze, evaluate and make substantiated judgments about interpretations, viewpoints, people's versions of the past. So I hope that that presentation was useful and I hope that uh, students will consider GCSE history. Thank you very much for listening.